in a world that is going to be increasingly connected and where data is going to increase, the importance of the platform business model is just going to increase even further. Every company will need to have a strategy for the platform economy. Every company may not choose to be a platform, but every company will need to evaluate its participation in other platforms' ecosystems. Even if you're not building a platform, you need to understand how platform ecosystems work in order to create a strategy to differentiate your business in other platforms' ecosystems. Having advised many platform businesses around the world, the challenge I see repeatedly with companies building platforms is not a lack of good ideas, but instead a lack of focus in execution. This module focuses on how large incumbent firms go about building platform businesses and the examples we look at here have been selected because of their sustained success with transitioning to a platform business. Every platform needs to identify and uniquely own the key control points that ensure dependence of the ecosystem participants on the platform. The idea of control points is really important. Control points refer to the few assets that the platform must uniquely own because of which the ecosystem becomes dependent on the platform. Google's ownership of Maps ensures that partners like Samsung and Amazon remain dependent on it despite getting open access to the Android operating system. It famously refused to provide turn-by-turn -turn navigation for Google Maps on the iPhone as a mechanism for differentiating the Android operating system from the iOS experience. As a result, Apple had to invest not very successfully in creating its own mapping service. The Platform Value Canvas is a framework that helps us design solutions to the chicken and egg problem. The left side of the canvas lays out value for producers, while the right side lays out value for consumers. So in this example, shipping platforms start with providing a fleet management tool to fleet owners. This enables the platform to digitize and aggregate fleet information and gather real-time data on ship availability. This creates network value for the customers who eventually want to book relevant ships on the platform. In the medical devices industry, for example, a range of medical devices capture data about a patient's medical condition. If the data is critical to clinical decisions and to providing wellness services to patients, these devices constitute an important control point. Device manufacturers like Philips are pursuing a platform strategy built around the ownership of such data acquiring devices. Let's try to understand the difference between primary demand and secondary demand with an example. The purchase of a home is a user's primary demand. This purchase creates a secondary demand which is the demand for mortgage to finance this purchase. Users are interested in satisfying their primary demand and the secondary demand arises out of a need to satisfy the primary demand. Companies that understand the user's primary demand will be better placed to recommend related banking products that arise as a secondary demand. Platforms are not focused on working without physical assets. This is a common misconception. 
In fact, some of the most successful platforms like Amazon use physical assets as a strong control point. PayPal's risk scoring algorithms work in a very similar manner. More transactions on PayPal lead to the capture of more usage data. And as the platform learns more from this usage data, with greater learning, the platform improves risk management, leading to an improved user experience. This in turn increases usage and leads to even more transactions. When creating a developer ecosystem strategy, always consider which partner applications can be interoperable to increase consumer choice and which partners must be dedicated to create sustainable competitive advantage. GE focused on the wrong metrics. Choosing the wrong metrics can steer any organization away from pursuing actual value creation. GE Digital, the organization powering the platform, was set up as a separate business unit focusing on revenues from day one with quarterly commitments. This prevented employees from pursuing initiatives that actually built the platform for the long run and made them focus more on short-term, one-off, often unconnected projects that brought in immediate revenue.